the Pleistocene era lasted for 1.8 million years. During this time there were several ice ages. A bunch of unique animals of all shapes and sizes roamed the planet during this time. Many of which resembled enormous versions of today's animals. Most became extinct at the end of the last ice age 11,000 years ago, possibly due to environmental conditions, or possibly because they were hunted by humans. Here are the top 10 ice age animals. The giant short-faced bear would have truly been a terrifying sight for any ancient human. This animal was the largest land carnivore ever to live in North America since the dinosaurs. Its eyes was unmatched by any other ice age predator. Standing on all fours it was 6 feet tall at the shoulders, and it could reach heights of over 11 feet when standing upright. It also had unusually long legs for a bear and a short body given its height. These were likely adaptations for stamina. Rather than for great speed. This animal gets its name as the species appears to have a small snout. Hence the name short-faced bear. These giants roamed North America for almost 1 million years living, alongside other giants such as the American lion. The cause of their extinction is a mystery. Some paleontologists believe that it might have been a change in climate, increased competition from other predators or overkilled by humans that led to their demise. Bultodon. This animal was a heavily armored relative of the armadillo, of the subfamily Glyptodontini, that lived during the Pleistocene epoch. It was roughly the same size and weight as a Volkswagen Beetle, 800 to 840 kilograms. These heavily armored one-ton creatures likely traveled to North America from South America via the Isthmus of Panama, a land bridge that connects the two Americas. After reaching North America about 2 million years ago, Glyptodon prospered in what is now coastal Texas and Florida, but the herbivorous critter has been extinct for 10,000 years. Bastodons. These animals entered North America about 15 million years ago, traveling over the Bering Strait land bridge, long before their relative, the mammoth. Mastodons were smaller than mammoths. Similar in size to modern-day elephants, with a height of 7 feet for females and 10 feet for males. They could weigh as much as 6 tons. They were more primitive than their mammoth cousins. For instance, mastodons had cone-shaped cusps on their molars that helped them crunch on the leaves, twigs and branches of deciduous and conifer trees. They also ate wetland plants that weren't full of abrasive material found in terrestrial plants. Both the mammoth and mastodons had thick fur that protected them from the cold. Unlike mammoths, mastodons had long curved tusks that measured up to 16 feet long. Megatherium, also known as the giant ground sloths, were large lumbering beasts that lived in the Americas during the Ice Ages. They were one of the largest land mammals ever known. They were directly related to today's modern sloths. They were also distantly related to anteaters and armadillos. Present-day sloths are relatively small mammals. They are less than a meter in length, and around 5 kilograms in weight, and spend most of their time suspended from branches and trees. They are currently restricted to South and Central America. In contrast to the present day, most extinct sloths lived on the ground, and some were many times larger than modern tree sloths. Megatherium was up to 10 times the size of living sloths, reaching weights of up to 4 tons, similar to a present-day bull elephant, and on its hind legs, they would have stood a full 12 feet tall. Asteroids, or giant beaver, is an extinct genus of enormous bear-sized beavers that lived in North America during the Pleistocene. A super-sized version of the modern beaver in appearance, the giant beaver tipped the scales at 100 kilograms. But it had two crucial differences. The giant beaver lacked the iconic paddle-shaped tail we see on today's modern beavers. Instead, it had a long skinny tail like a muskrat. The teeth also look different. Modern beaver incisors are sharp and chisel-like, but the giant beaver incisors were bulkier and curved and lacked a sharp cutting edge. Despite their general similarities, the giant beaver and the modern beaver are not close relatives. The giant beaver is classified in the genus Castoroids, while the modern beaver belongs to Castor. There were two species of giant beaver, Castoroids ohionsis and Castoroids lacerum. Both species of giant beaver died out in North America about 10,000 years ago, along with mammoths, mastodons and ice age horses. Competition from the modern beaver, as well as reduction of its habitat, may have led to its demise. Sabertooth tiger. Also known as Smilodon was a large short-limbed cat that lived in North and South America during the Pleistocene epoch, it was about the size of the modern-day Siberian tiger. These predators weighed between 160 to 280 kilograms. Its immense upper canine teeth, which could grow up to 20 centimeters long, were probably used for stabbing and slashing its prey, such as large herbivores like mastodons. The bite of a saber-toothed tiger was relatively weak compared to a modern-day cat. 
a 230 kilo saber-toothed tiger could bite down with a force of 1,000 newtons. In comparison, a 250 kilo lion could bite down with a force of 3,000 newtons. Instead, they likely used their powerful neck muscles to stab their teeth into an animal's neck. Dire Wolf The dire wolf is an extinct member of the Canidae family. It lived during the late Pleistocene epoch from around 125,000 to 9,440 years ago. Once thought to be closely related to gray wolves, coyotes, and dogs now turns out to be false. They actually occupy a separate lineage that split from gray wolves nearly 6 million years ago. The dire wolf was a formidable predator, measuring almost 5 feet from head to tail, and weighing in the vicinity of 150 to 200 pounds, about 25% bigger than the biggest dog alive today, and 25% heavier than the largest gray wolves. The American Cheetah this animal only stood a little taller than the modern cheetah, with a shoulder height of about 2.75 feet, and a weight of about 156 pounds. However, the American cheetah probably wasn't as fast. It had slightly shorter legs, which likely made it a better climber than a runner. The American cheetah were predators that lived in the Pleistocene era in North America, about 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago. Interestingly, the American cheetah was more closely related to modern pumas and cougars than it was to cheetahs. In fact, the American cheetah is not actually a true cheetah. Scientists attribute this fact to convergent evolution, the tendency for animals in the same ecosystems to evolve the same general features. The woolly rhinoceros is an extinct species of rhino that was common throughout Europe and Asia during the Pleistocene epoch and survived until the end of the last glacial period. It looks similar to a modern rhinoceros from the African savanna. However, unlike modern rhinos, it possessed a thick coat of brown fur several centimeters long. Woolly rhinoceroses had significantly larger horns than their modern, African cousins. They most likely used their horns to dig up plants that had been buried by the snow. It was also used as a weapon against predators and rivals. The eyesight of the woolly rhinoceros was very poor. Its sense of smell and hearing on the other hand was excellent and would have alerted it to any danger. If it identified something as a threat, it would charge instantly at its target. Woolly mammoths are extinct relatives of today's elephants. Woolly mammoths lived during the last ice age, and they may have died off when the weather became warmer and their food supply changed. Humans may also be partly responsible for their disappearance due to hunting. Woolly mammoths were probably about the size of African elephants. They stood 8 to 11 feet tall and weighed up to 8 tons. Their ears were smaller than those of today's elephants. This was probably an adaptation to the cold climate that kept their ears closer to their heads and kept them warmer. Their tusks were very long, about 15 feet, and were used for fighting and digging in the deep snow. Mammoths were herbivores and ate mostly grass, but also ate other types of plants and flowers.